In this example, I'm going to demonstrate how to graph an exponential function on my math lab. So we have an example where we want to use transformations of the graph f of x equals 5 to the x to graph the function g of x, which is 5 to the x minus 1. We are told to graph the function and its asymptote. Graph the asymptote as a dashed line and use the graphing tool to graph the function. So first we have to identify the movement for the graph 5 to the x. If we are subtracting 1 in the power, that is a horizontal movement and it's opposite of the sign. So we change minus 1 to positive 1, which gives us a right movement. So now I'm going to graph the function right 1 and I'm going to open up the graphing tool. So first I'm going to graph the asymptote. So if the graph is shifting right 1, the asymptote starts at 0, and shifting right 1, it doesn't really change its position from 0. So I want to graph a dotted line at y equals 0. So I'm going to select the line tool, and I'm going to select the dashed object feature here and then it gives me a point so I'm just going to click at 0 and I need another point anywhere on the line so it doesn't matter where else you click as long as you don't make it a slanted line so you want to click somewhere else on that horizontal line. When you're finished graphing that you can go and select the exponential tool. Now the exponential has to be solid, so once you select that, make sure you select the solid object tool. So my exponential function has an intercept that starts one above the asymptote, but it is shifting right one, so I'm going to go ahead and click out here. And notice that when I did that, it automatically defaulted to graphing it at 0, 1. So what then pops up is your um, transformation box here. So if you have a vertical movement up 1 or down 1, for instance, you could put that in this box. I want to go in the horizontal shift box and show that it is shifting to the right 1. So I'm going to get rid of the 0 and I'm going to put a positive 1, which will give it a positive 1 movement. There aren't any reflections, so I don't click these boxes. And then check the base and make sure that it is a base that matches the base of your function, which should be 5. So you can see that when I clicked in the base box, it automatically moved the graph. Okay, so I'm going to click out of here, and I'm going to click, uh, click Save to finish. So I can see that my graph is showing the asymptote. The function has shifted right 1, so I'm going to check that answer. So it did submit that correctly. The next step is it asks for the equation of the horizontal asymptote. So you're going to submit y equals 0 and check that. It asks then for the domain. So you're going to select this answer in interval notation. So the domain is in negative infinity to positive infinity. So make sure you select the um, parentheses tool here, and then you have to type negative. So type that, collect the, uh, select the infinity symbol, and then select this next box here, and you want to just put positive infinity there. Check that answer. And then ask for the range. The range is from the asymptote above, and so the limit is 0 to positive infinity. So again, select the parentheses interval, and you have 0, comma, and then you want to go here and select infinity, and then enter to select that.